we started the company with safety in mind. And we started the company with the idea to make computer systems safe so that they can withstand failures and keep on operating, even if some of the components fail. That means you need to have a distributed computer system, so more computational nodes, so more processing nodes, and more communication links, so that if one of the communication links or the processing nodes fails, you can go on. That was really the foundational idea and linked it up in a time-triggered fashion with time-triggered processing to make that in real time. So I think the definition of safety has not changed, really. It's more like the context that safety is used in has changed a lot. So we have very mature industries like aviation, aerospace. They had already failed operational safety out on the market if you fly across the Atlantic Ocean. You need to have safety. It's fully digital. It's fully electronic. You need to go on there. It's clear. But what you see now is a lot of new applications come in where the safety is really required, being it of highway machines, being it cranes. And especially if we look on the automotive side, there we see this completely new challenge of AI and safety. So you start to automate things to make them more automated towards autonomy. So you want to have uh, driving tasks fully automated so that you can do something different in the car. And in this context, the, the topic of AI and safety is a very relevant topic because you need on the one hand side a safe architecture. That's what we are building as a foundation, as a cornerstone where you can build upon. But then you have these AI layers for perception, for decision making, and there we still have a lot of um, challenges to make those systems safe. I would expect, not expect, express uh, my gratitude and appreciation of the founders of the company that really pushed the company ahead, that made it possible to have a high-tech uh, company here in the uh, capital of Austria in Vienna. And uh, I'm already, since a long time, following the history of, of TT Tech, not only since I, I joined, but roughly 15 years ago, it came to my attention because I'm a tech enthusiast and I look to everything that is technology driven. Uh, and the second touch point is that I'm also a graduate of the Technical University in Vienna. And so I followed especially technology, technology companies in the area of Vienna. And with that, there was a close relationship in the automotive industries. Uh, we met in the former positions. And I'm now happy that I'm on board and, and I can contribute. Yeah.